Welcome to JUnit series by One Test Solution. This is part one. In this video, we'll look at the overview on JUnits and its configuration in Eclipse. So, what exactly a JUnit is? JUnit is nothing but a testing framework in Java which controls or drives the automated tests. JUnit comes with a rich set of libraries and jar files which makes JUnit really easy to use and builds a robust test around it. This test can be a unit test or can be a functional test using Selenium web drivers. From the implementation standpoint, JUnits provides a lot of capabilities to write or define the validation of the checkpoints. It also helps to supply the precondition or the post condition for the test using different annotations which are available that we will see in the next video series. JUnit has, has also a, lich, a rich set of library to do the exception testings. From the execution standpoint, we can categorize tests, we can uh, do the batch execution or we can actually in fact control the test the way we want. From the reporting standpoint, it has a nice integration with Ant which helps generating or creating the beautiful JUnit HTML reports. JUnit also provides a capability to build test cases and the test suites for better tracking and maintenance. If you look at uh, the automation uh, principles, JUnit comes with set of libraries which helps building the data driven and the hybrid framework for testing. From implementation standpoint, JUnit can be utilized in multiple ways. For example, Java developers can uh, do unit test in JUnit. It also helps to implement test driven development. Functional testers can utilize JUnit to write their Selenium web drivers scripts. So before we go ahead and get started with Eclipse, we need to first download it that can be downloaded from this URL. Once you go there, you will see Eclipse comes with variety of options. So you can uh, choose which one you want to download as per your operating system. Coming to the configuration part with uh, in Eclipse, uh, JUnit uh, jar files uh, can be added to the build path and it's by default available. We just have to associate it to the Eclipse editor. For example, you're planning to use uh, some different ed editor apart from Eclipse, then also uh, you can go ahead and download that manually and configure it. So let's go ahead and get started uh, to do the basic configuration and uh, we'll see how to associate the JUnit jar files to the build path. So what I will do is I will click on this Java project, click on next and uh, will give as uh, JUnit tests. Click on next. I will go with the default options and click on finish. I don't want to add this project to the Java perspective at this point. So I will click on no. Now in this source, what I will do is I will go ahead and create a test class file. So just right click on this go to new and create a class. I will call this as a basic test setup. Click on finish. Okay. Now one class file uh, called as basic test setup will get created and here we will go ahead and start writing our JUnit test. In order to define a JUnit test, what we need to do is we have to use annotation called as at the rate test and write your test method here. So public void basic test. Okay. So now here you will see Eclipse will throw an error, right? So just mouse over on this and go ahead and click on this add JUnit 4 library to the build path. Just click on that 
now j unit is all set up in eclipse to write your test and your error is no more here so in the next series what we will do is we'll go ahead and extend the same test we'll try to write the unit test along with the selenium web driver tests okay so additionally what you can do is you can go ahead and subscribe one test solution for latest updates and videos thanks for watching this keep on following the next video